Case Study Arrhythmias by Christine Lagrasta. Welcome to today's uh, module on arrhythmias. My name is Christine Lagrasta. Um, I work at Children's Hospital of Boston as a pediatric nurse practitioner. This is a case study for you to test your knowledge of arrhythmias. We will ask you to provide written answers. You will not receive formal evaluation on your answers, nor will this count towards your certification status. Your answers will be used to assist us in improving the teaching tools and lecture materials. So a six-week-old infant is brought to the hospital because the mother thought he was having trouble breathing, was not eating well, and he had been vomiting. When you see the baby, he's breathing very fast, he is irritable, and his mother cannot console him. His color appears mottled and grayish. Question 1. Does the baby need help? Please click the Leave a Comment button now to leave your answer. Note, this will not be used as part of your certification assessment. Yes, this baby needs help. He's having difficulty breathing. He may be dehydrated if he has not been eating well. The mottled color tells us his heart is not pumping enough blood to the rest of his body or not pumping efficiently. Question 2. What should you do first? The first thing you need to do is to give the baby oxygen. After you do that, put him on the heart monitor and place an intravenous catheter or IV. Question 3. What is your impression of the infant's condition? The baby is in respiratory distress. You give the baby oxygen and put him on the heart monitor. The heart rate is 275 beats per minute. Oxygen saturation is 99% and the blood pressure is 72 over 55. You perform a quick physical examination. The baby is still fussy and crying and notice that the lung sounds have crackles and the baby is occasionally grunting. The pulses are weak. The capillary refill time is delayed, but the skin is less mottled. This is the rhythm that is shown on the monitor. It is regular, but the P waves are not visible. Question 4. Is this a narrow complex or wide complex rhythm? This is a narrow complex rhythm. This is determined by measuring the QRS complex. When the QRS complex is less than 0.08 seconds, it is narrow. Question 5. Why is this important to determine? When the QRS complex is narrow, then the rhythm could be supraventricular tachycardia or a sinus tachycardia. If the QRS complex is wide, the rhythm could be ventricular tachycardia. This rhythm is a fast, narrow complex tachycardia with no visible P waves. Question 6. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is supraventricular tachycardia. Question 7. What is the treatment? Follow the PALS algorithm for tachycardia. The first treatment will be to attempt bagel maneuvers. If ice is available, place it on the baby's face. Do not put it over the baby's nose. If this does not convert the rhythm to a sinus rhythm, give adenosine or provide synchronized cardioversion. Point of clarification. The general dose of adenosine is initially 0.1 mg per kilo rapidly, IV or IO, with a maximum dose of 6 mg. If there is no effect from the initial dose, 0.2 mg per kilogram can be given rapidly, IV or IO, with a maximum dose of 12 milligrams. Synchronized cardioversion is initially 0.5 to 1 joules per kilogram. If not effective, increase dosage to 2 joules per kilogram. So ice is placed on the baby's face but does not convert the supraventricular tachycardia to a sinus rhythm. Adenosine is then given through the IV. The monitor now displays this rhythm. Question 8. 
Question 8. What is the rhythm now? The rhythm is sinus rhythm. The rate is 165 beats per minute. The P waves are visible. It is regular and all the intervals are of normal duration for a six week old baby. Please help us improve the content by providing us with some feedback.